right, so this is going to be your pick a deck reading for how do they feel about you, okay? So go ahead and choose which deck that you want to get your answer from, okay? I'm going to take a sip of this coffee real quick, guys. Feeling tired today, okay? So we're going to start with number one. And this will be number two. And this is gonna be three, okay? So we're gonna start at number one. I'm gonna move the other ones out the way for right now. Number one, okay? And I just want you to insert the person's name as I say they, who you're thinking of. You wanna see how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Let's see. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? All right. How do they feel about you? Ooh, they want to work with you. They see success with you. Oh, yeah, but you know what? <laughs> I think you scare them a little bit, okay? You scare them a little bit because... You don't mix words. You don't mix words at all, okay? And I feel like you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, could be an air sign here. Um, but I feel like this person also can be the very same way, can be very cutting um, with their words at times. But, you know, for the most part, they're very mature, um, they're very forthcoming, they don't really hide things, they're, they're transparent for the most part. But, you know, sometimes too much honesty can be hurtful in the way that you deliver it. I'll put it that way, okay? All right. Ooh. Okay. So the person that you're dealing with, could also be between two people you and someone else they could be married because we have a couple here the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles okay you could be the one on the outside the third party or you could be the wife or the husband who is involved in a third party relationship it could go several different ways, okay? Or this could be, yeah, no, <laughs> that's how I see it. I feel like there's one person here that's caught between two people. One of the people is the husband or the wife and the other person is the outside party that they're, you know, dipping into okay yeah that's a, they they are married they have a family together all right but they're ignoring whoever this person is as in between two people they're ignoring the person that they're actually married to and they're looking at you. They see success with you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. They see success with you, but they're, they're already, they're married. Or they're in a committed relationship and has a family. So, but yeah, they, they see success with you, but I don't know how they're going to have it, okay? They're already committed. All right. Oh. That's not going to be for a whole lot of you. And I know people are not going to like that, but that's just what I saw with that. Okay. I tried to get something else out of it, but it just was not working. All right, guys. So we're going to go on to number two. I think this was number two. Let's see. How do they, okay. How do they feel about you? 
the fool. They want to take a leap of faith. Could be an Aries. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? They're unsure. They're unsure. They like one part of them is 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 wanting to like you know take a leap of faith with you, but the other part of them they feel like too much has happened in the past. Too much has been done. They feel like you hurt them. Okay, is the way I feel here. We have the King of Swords under the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. Here we have Scorpio, Aries. We have Taurus here. Virgo, Aries again. I feel like they are just kind of reflecting on what has happened in the past, actually. Um, what did they get out of it? And I feel like they don't feel like they got anything out of it. Like that was, you know, worth really, you know, carrying forward. They felt like their relationship was a burden that they needed to put to rest. They felt, they felt like they were backstabbed, betrayed. To the point where they just could not take it anymore. It's how they feel. You guys, I'm not feeling this. How they feel about you this week is very, very um, hmm, it's negative. What's going on? Maybe it's like this Venus retrograde and um, this new moon. And Scorpio, it's some things going on. Let's see what was that that was getting ready to flip. The Hangman. Yeah. See, they're stuck. The situation is stuck. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Not this week anyway. Okay. Let's see what's going on with deck three. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? How do they feel? Get some good cards. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Knight of Swords, somebody wanting to say something to you. Five of Pentacles, that dang on Five of Pentacles is like, go away. They feel like neither one of you is is really feeling good about this situation right now. They felt left out in the call. You feel left out in the call. Um, but I feel like somebody has something to say. Somebody is really eager to say something here. Then we have the three of wands under the bottom of the deck, which is somebody looking for, um, looking to reap the benefits of, you know, what they put out there. So I feel like this person is, even though they feel like hurt by the situation, um, they still have something that they want to say to you. The only thing is, it may not be, you know, the most tactful thing that comes out of their mouth. Um, but I feel like you have your back turned on a situation and you're not, it's like the conversation is null and void for you, is the way I feel.
Yeah, see, the Seven of Pentacles is reversed, and, and I try to make sure my cards are not reversed, but it's reversed, so I'm going to leave it that way. But it's like somebody here, the one that's not giving any more energy to the situation, is not looking at it, not not looking for anything to come of it because it's reversed. This is like, you know, harvesting what you have put out there, but in the upright it is. But this way it's like, you're not looking for anything to come out of this. This is self-love. This is love from God. This is love from the universe. You know, this is healing. So somebody here is trying to trying to heal. Somebody else here is basically not addressing issues. N just want to leave it alone. Leave well enough alone, basically. This this person here, the Knight of Swords, the one that has something to say. They really have something to say here. They've done a lot of healing as well. They they probably will contact you, or whoever this person is will probably contact the other person very fast, very fast moving communication, out of the blue communication here, okay? All right, guys, so that is your pick a deck reading for this week, and I will be speaking with you soon.